and welcome back to the Casual Adventures channel. Casey and I here are going to talk to you some more about our keto diet. We've got our mascot Tippy here, who's ever so important. Yes. Aren't you Tippy? Every group needs their mascot. Casual Adventures mascot is Tippy. So, keto. We talked about this about two weeks ago and we wanted to give you a little update. Uh, in case you missed our last video, keto is short for ketosis, and it basically you want a very little to no carb, high fat, medium level protein. You want about 75% of your diet to be fat, and good fat, not the bad saturated fats and the trans fats and all that nasty stuff like that. Think avocado and bacon, and bacon's really good. Avocado. <laughs> we really like the avocado. And the bacon. And the bacon. Yes. Uh, we use a lot of heavy whipping cream also to make up for our fat. Um, today I made some ranch dressing and just FYI we will be posting some future videos because this last two weeks we've been experimenting with uh, recipes and things. So we'll be posting our favorite recipes and we found some really good ones and a few of them I made myself from scratch and I did write down the recipes so they're soon coming. <clears throat> anyway, so as far as uh, the update goes, I have been on the keto diet uh, for 14 days. Yes, today is uh, officially day 14 for me and day 13 for Lenora and I have dropped 17.4 pounds and I can already tell a huge difference. I am, well, significantly lighter in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> also, um, when I drive, my stomach used to hit the steering wheel, but it doesn't anymore, and I'm totally happy about that. So my pant size has dropped at least probably an inch or two. Um, I feel like I have a lot more energy. How about you? Oh, from what I've seen from him, I've been impressed because he has started more projects lately and actually completed them, which is <laughs> huge. Um, he's you know accomplished a lot lately. Uh, things we should have been doing videos on, but we don't always find time to grab the camera. Um, most of the time we actually forget, so we apologize. <laughs> But for things that we do catch on camera, we're welcome to share with you. We're going to share with you. But overall, this, this diet has helped us with weight, with self-confidence. I've noticed you've been a little more confident. Yep, a little bit more confident. A little uh, more I, happy. A oh, little bit. <laughs> when you're not hungry. So, yeah, when I'm not hungry, I get pretty hangry. <laughs> if you don't know what hangry is, go Google it. <laughs> We all get hangry sometimes. Yes, yes we do. So um, I've pretty much also given up coffee. Uh, you can have coffee, but you need to use like the instant coffee. Uh, that's kind of what I've read and heard before. So we do have some just in case because I had a lot of coffee before this diet and a lot of caffeine before this diet. And so there were a few days where I had some really bad caffeine headaches and so I had to have something and a little bit of heavy whipping cream in the cup and a little bit of the uh, stevia. Uh, it's a sweetener. I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I apologize if I butchered the name. But a uh, little bit of that and then it's drinkable. And the kids are finding that they enjoy eating what we eat as well. They're not completely and strictly on this diet, but they are eating more of it and slowly transitioning and easing into it. Every now and then they still want, you know, cantaloupe or watermelon, and that's okay, and we let them have that. Um, today I made cookies, a big batch of cookies. Our neighbor's birthday is tomorrow, and so I thought I'd make them some cookies, and the kids had some too, but you know, yep. we're not strict with them. Yeah, no cookies for us, but they're more than happy to have some cookies, and they have popsicles and other things too. So... It's I may have cheated and had just like a fourth of a cookie. Oh, <laughs> cheater. Cheater, cheater, yes. cheater. It was so hard. It's so hard to bake and not try it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had to be in the other room while she made the cookie dough because I'm a cookie dough fiend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not impervious to, you know, 
temptation. But that's that's pretty much all I've slipped. <laughs> okay. Okay. So coming back around to it, Lenora is on day number thirteen. Do you remember how much you've lost? Um, eight pounds. Nine pounds. Nine, Nine pounds. Yep. As of this morning. We do weigh every morning. It's not necessary to weigh every morning. Once a week is more than sufficient. But me personally, I kind of like seeing the roller coaster of up and down and uh, a lot more down than up, which is nice. I'm using the app. Yeah, we're using the Carb Manager app. It really, really helps me at least. Uh, so I can research what I cook. I can uh, see how many carbs and fat and protein I've had for the day. And it's very, very handy, especially when I'm out grocery shopping. There's also an app for um, keto recipes that um, that's worth mentioning <coughs> that we should probably look into more. We've been trying to experiment with our own things and Google searching substitutes. I've noticed that um, a lot of the recipes call for xanthan gum when it comes to bread or thickeners. They want you to use xanthan gum, but I'm... I'm not sure exactly why, but I'm not terribly fond of xanthan gum, so I substitute. So you can substitute xanthan gum with an equal amount of chai seed or so chai um, or flax. Chai seed okay. as well as ground flax seed and gelatin. Yeah, but we haven't tried the gelatin yet. We did substitute one recipe with some chai seed, and that wasn't too bad. Mm hmm. Oh, that was pretty good. It was actually a, a hot cocoa recipe. <laughs> a keto friendly hot cocoa recipe. And that was pretty good. And um, the other one we did was biscuits and gravy. And the gravy we used um, the ground flax seed to thicken it. And I think you also used it in a chicken chicken. Yeah, that's sauce chicken and cheese Alfredo. type recipe. Yeah. And we'll be that posting really that later on. Um, probably in a few days actually, because when I did cook it the family devoured it. It was one of their favorites. Yes. And that was, you know, our children just inhaled it too. We found another great recipe for beef liver where we fried it and that was that was really good too. <laughs> yep, that was. We uh, used some almond flour and butter and flaxseed, ground flaxseed and some parmesan. That was really good. That was good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we're talking a lot about the recipes, but basically we are very, very happy with the way the keto diet is going so far. Um, I've heard from like the Facebook, the Facebook groups <laughs> and uh, other people online that the keto diet isn't really a diet. It's more of a lifestyle change. And I think I totally agree with that. It's more of a big lifestyle change for me. Uh, the first few days, I really, really craved some sugar, and uh, on occasion, I still crave some cereals and things, but um, after the first week, the cravings for the sugar was completely gone. I, I don't crave the sugars anymore. I do still crave the cereal on occasion, but it's becoming less and less, significantly less and less. You know, one thing that I noticed is that um, there is a yogurt that you can buy in the stores. Which one was it? The, the Chobani, I think it was. Yeah, I think you can eat the Chobani. It's the it's vanilla flavored. Fit in, fit in something. I can't remember. I'll look <laughs> it up and write it in the description below. But it's got, I think, six grams of sugar. Yeah, it's, it's not much. Really, it's really, really low. Really low carb. It's but it's o good. it's okay on the keto diet. Mm -hmm. It was a approved keto yogurt, and I took a bite of it, and the sugar. I hadn't had sugar in so long that I actually couldn't finish it. It was too sweet for me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had to give it to the kids. It was too sweet for me. <laughs> and two weeks ago, she would have inhaled the whole thing and not had a problem with it. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, I think uh, we're good to wrap it up, or you want to say something else? Um, no, I think that's um, that's all I can think of right now. So be sure to like, subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw. Um, oh, another thing is this this diet becoming a life so lifestyle will be probably transitioning into our garden as well. So more of the things that we plant in the future are going to be 
keto friendly. So keep an eye out for those gardening tutorials as well. Including chickens. We do have some chickens. Uh, I think we've posted it before in other videos that we do have chickens and in about a few months, three to four months, they'll start laying eggs. And so eggs are a big part of this diet. So we'll be saving a ton of money respectively by <laughs> <laughs> by buying feed instead of buying chicken eggs. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, that's uh, that's all we can think of. We're going to wrap it up here. Yep. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for taking you, the time thank you. to watch and enjoy this video. We hope you got some enjoyment, some knowledge, some information out of it that's helpful to you. So thank you for joining us on our Casual, Casual Venture in Keto. Keto? Keto. 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 No. <laughs> Keto. Keto. <laughs> bye. Bye. Say bye, Tippy. Bye, mascot. Bye, Tippy. Bye. <laughs> that was a bye. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. a bye. <laughs>